you know, Nick, I, I talk to a lot of business owners and, you know, when we, when we look at businesses, we say, what is the business function? And is it something that's in demand and how will the business be successful? All right. Mm -hmm. And it's no different than when you're looking at um, someone who creates an NFT with utility, a utility NFT is it's really a business is what it is. And so, um, you know, I know that many times when people have looked at NFTs, they go, oh, NFTs are, are art. And, uh, you know, they sell for $2 million of an ape. Okay. You know, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. the reality is, is that maybe NFTs originally came out being attached to things like music or art, you know, that were collectibles and things like that. But now we're seeing more and more and more that are being attached to specific utility. And Nick, I don't know if you caught it or not, but a couple of weeks ago, we had a guest on a company called TravelX and uh, TravelX created the first airline ticket um, NFT. And so what we're seeing in the industry is, is that there's legitimate expansion of NFTs into the industry where they're being used for specific business functions and we call it utility right and that's what gabe brought up is utility so um so the business utility sounds really strong it sounds really really good that's yeah. that's really great and listen we're going to dig in into that a little bit more um deeper but yeah. gabe the second thing that you always tell me that's the most important about you know when we look at a, a nft project is what you know you need a good team right so i've i've invested in Unfortunately, some uh, some projects that you know that the team wasn't doxed. You know, they uh, it was probably not the most reputable team. But uh, we see that you guys do have a pretty good team, and you're all doxed. And uh, can you tell us about the team a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm with you. I think yeah. anybody who's been in the NFT space for like we'll say longer than three months, you've been burned at multiple oh, times, yeah. <laughs> uh, and you've FOMO'd in hard to projects, thinking it's the next big thing. So. That said, being doxxed is a term that is thrown around a lot in the NFT space. Not many founders or, or project uh, uh, projects put their actual pictures uh, and their faces and their real names. You know, it's just a it's an image behind Moose, right? Instead of, well, I'm, my name is Nick Scott and I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, and, and I'm an airline captain flying for a major airline. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about our team. And one thing you'll notice with each person on our team, they feel like a very specific role and they're an expert in that field. So, um, Nick, I see you have some other technical or other members of the team. Can you tell us a little bit about them as well? Yeah. So you see there, Sean, real quick. Uh, Sean is actually our chief creative officer. So everything art-wise uh, you see came from Sean. Um, I feel extremely fortunate to have Sean and his team. They did uh, promotional work for United Airlines for their frequent flyer program, uh, Wawa, UFC. Like they've dealt with some big, big brands. Uh, and so everything they do is at a high level. And uh, I couldn't be more happy to have Sean on the team. And then you've got our two guys. Uh, you've got OG Damon Dallas and Steady Freddy. Absolutely love these guys. So these guys are like our NFT, you know, community gurus. And one thing you'll learn when you get into the NFT space is it flips the traditional business model upside down. Whereas in a typical business, it's all about the people, the bottom level workers kind of working to support the higher level. And then the, that mid level, the next level, they're all there to you know, boost the profits of the CEO and just get paid. Where in the NFT world, everything is flipped upside down. And so me being at the top of my project, I'm here to support my team and the community. So I work for the community. I'm not there to get anything out of them. I'm there to provide something for them that's unique. And that's something that Damon and Freddie really brought. And so I, I wouldn't be, uh, uh, I'd also have to bring up our community. The community is awesome. It's very, very big on these NFT projects to have a strong community. You can't go out and buy fake followers. It's very real. And if you hop into our Discord, you'll see our community. Um, they're amazing. They can answer 99% of the questions. And who is Michael Lee? And then Mike Lee. So uh, Mike Lee, he's, on our, he's um, our lead engineer. He's doing all of the non-fun stuff behind the scenes with our app. Uh, okay. He is an absolute genius. Uh, and the things he's putting in in the app behind the scenes is amazing. Great. Good. Yeah. Good. So, so uh, utility, something that actually makes business sense and a team, those are two really important parts.